Hey guys, welcome to another day at SHOT Show 2019 with TFB TV. Today we're here with Eric. Eric, thank you so much for coming out. Thanks for coming out, Miles. Good to see you. You too as well. So we're here at the Beretta booth, and Eric's going to tell us some stuff about some of the shotguns that are out. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we uh, we actually been selling the 1301 Tactical for a few years now. Um, these are continuations of the 1301 Tactical line. Uh, in my hands is a fairly stock 1301 Tactical FDE. Um, main features on this are 18 and a half inch barrel, threaded barrel for chokes, which is kind of big on a tactical gun. So they ship with a cylinder choke, which is perfect for everything, really. Uh, you can run slugs, double out, whatever. Um, but if you do want to take this gun hunting, of course, you can put a uh, tighter choke in and run turkey loads or whatever. Moving back, uh, we have the uh, ghost ring sight, which is uh, paired with the front post. A Picatinny rail, which we currently are running a primary arms optic on. Extended, bolt re extended charging handle, extended bolt release. A hogged out magazine well for easier loading, so you can load two. Okay. And a very short length of pull, which is perfect for uh, running with uh, bulky clothes or body armor, of course, whatever whatever application is necessary. Yeah. But these are the Beretta uh, tactical shotguns, uh, the best of the tactical shotguns that we've ever made, I think. They're really fast, really light recoiling, and some of my favorites. Outstanding. Um, the optics, do they come with the shotgun? No, no we just have them on to illustrate the uh, versatility of the gun. So we have a two-inch Picatinny rail section. You can run a red dot. You can run a light magnifier with a, a, a riser, of course, although that gets you a little high. Um, but the, uh, the most people are kind of coming around to running optics on shotguns. It's a fairly new thing on a traditional style shotgun. Yeah. Um, and, and the solutions, as it is, are geared towards rifle style optics. So with a, with a uh, small riser, uh, and a Picatinny rail. However, the gun you're holding, we have some custom mounts uh, that get the optic a lot lower on the gun. So I'll switch with you. Yeah, yeah. So please tell us about this. This is the latest and greatest. Yeah, so this is um, this is a 1301 Marine. Uh, we do sell this with this type of furniture on the, on the uh, standard offering. However, this one's been customized. So these are aftermarket components from Eridus Industries. Um, we do sell these uh, with the exception of the furniture on our web. So. This uses an adapter to use it's a Magpul a SGA kind of stock and a Magpul Zhukov forend. That's great. Which gets you on this shotgun the ability to mount any light because these are M-Lock slots. M -lock. So these are available through the Beretta web store. And um, for those folks that wish to, to go with a little bit shorter, because this is even shorter length to pull than the factory one, yeah. Um, then the SGA is perfect. Also, you get a pistol grip, so it's a little bit faster handling, and uh, an integral sling adapter, of course. Like all the Magpul goodies, they, they're direct fit. Yeah. But the biggest thing on this gun, as compared to the standard factory configuration, is this Airtis Industries Co-Witness Ready Optic Mount, or Chrome. Yeah. And as I mentioned with the optic, it's traditionally a, a, an adapted rifle-type optic on these guns, so, so is this. This is an Aimpoint T1, but the mount brings the optic down so that it's a lower third co-witness which is ideal uh, when we're running shotguns. You want to get low, you want to get low on there, bring, the, bring your cheek way into the well, uh, get your cheek well way into the comb on the, on the stock, and it allows you to run it fast and actually keep it aimed pretty pretty well. Raise, raising your head is not exactly ideal on, on the shotgun. Not exactly. Because you're going to punch practice, in, well, yeah. it's going to punch in the face, that's for sure. Yeah. So um, that's that's a real good thing to bring it down low, keep, keep you really into your shoulder pocket, keep your face down. It's, it's a good a good practice on these, and this really is a, an interesting mount. We do sell these as well. Um, standard configuration, of course, is the Picatinny mount with the ghost ring rear, but for those folks who want to really, you know, high speed load drag their shotgun, it's it's available. What uh, MSRP and availability? So the standard black shotguns, up, as, as with this 1301, they're 1275. Everyone is available now. Okay. Um, the colored guns, so we've got the FDE, we've got the OD green, and we've got the Marine. They're all 1375. And what about with this tricked out configuration? That tricked out configuration um, is generally going to add on average. It depends on which. So what about with this uh, tricked out configuration? So the tricked out configuration is going to add um, about $300 overall to get you into all this. but. You know, the nice thing about these modifications is you can either run it singularly or you can run the whole thing. You don't need to run every aftermarket part in order to get to, uh, in order to get the full configuration. Okay, good. So, thank you very much for talking about the shotgun, Well, thank sir. you, Miles. No worries. Can we move on to the pistols next? Oh, sure. Well, then I'll shake your hand later. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Hey, guys, back with Eric with Greta, and we're on the pistols here. So, Eric, what's up with these pistols now? So, I'm going to start with my personal favorite here in the booth. Um, this is the 92G Elite LTT. 
Uh, this is a gun that is a culmination of oh, over two decades of work with Ernest Langdon on the M9 platform. Um, so his, na his name is actually in the name of the gun, the LTT, Langdon Tactical Technologies. He's a multi-time champion uh, for several competitive disciplines, and uh, this gun is specced out exactly as he would want a winning competition gun. So we're going to start out here. We have a standard M9A1 style frame. Uh, differences being that uh, there's been some bevel work done from the factory. Um, we've got LTT specific grips. So these grips allow for a much narrower and more ergonomic profile on a standard M9A1 frame as compared to traditional polymer or wood. For instance, this model has a traditional style grip. Yep. Um, it's much more, it's much thicker. It's, it's, it's pretty, of course, but it's not as ergonomic. Um, so these are designed for a command grip and a very aggressive command grip on the gun for recoil control and very fast uh, shooting while being accurate, which is really the most important part. Outstanding. And this, this is available right now? Yes, yes. We are shipping this right now. Uh, MSRP on this is $1,100 um, for the standard configuration model. Um, now over here I have a very special LTT that I'm going to get into a little bit. So this model, LTT, the first one is available from any Beretta retailer right now. This model is an LTT exclusive. So Ernest, uh, through his company Langdon Tactical, has taken all that he wanted to spec out in the LTT, taken it to 11. He has added a nickel Teflon coating on all of the high friction components of the gun and can perform a very high level trigger job on it. So you've got very special grips. Um, these are the standard grips for reference. Are these Micarta or G10? They're or G10, or? G10. Yep. and they're made uh, exclusively for LTT by uh, BZ. Ah, okay. um, and they are very, very svelte as compared to other style grips. They, they kind of uh, allow for even folks with smaller hands to get a very good command grip on the gun. Yeah. So it's a, it's a very interesting effect. Uh, and then moving on from the uh, custom LTT, we have a commemorative gun that we developed to uh, commemorate our move out of Maryland. So this is a 92G Brigadier Volunteer. And this pistol, I'm gonna flip it around. This pistol was developed uh, to commemorate and thank Tennessee for welcoming us uh, it, with such vigor when we moved out of Maryland with our manufacturing facility. Yeah. It features uh, these walnut grips with an homage to the Tennessee state flag, uh, the special roll marking, 1796 volunteer, um, some other goodies such as a Brigadier slide, uh, high visibility front sight. It's also a G with the elite style hammer. Um, and it's got a worked over trigger as well. So this is, we're very excited about this. It's a very limited commemorative model uh, and this is new and shipping now.